Hello everyone, I'm Ben, and in this video we're going to be creating some, some cloth that's uh, flapping in the wind in Unreal Engine using simple grass wind. And to control which parts of this model are actually flapping in the, the wind, we're going to be using vertex paint in Blender. Let's jump into it. So I have my model here, and what I want to do is use vertex paint to say which parts of this cloth section are going to be animatable. So to do that, I'm going to switch from my object mode to vertex paint and change over to any color I like. And you can see that if I start painting, it actually assigns one of these colors that I've got to a vertex. So I can't just paint in the middle here, like I'm clicking now, nothing happens, but it paints these over and assigns that color to that vertex. All right, that's how it works. I'm going to go back and set these to zero and zero. So I have a nice white and say paint set vertex colors and that will just fill the entire object with that color. Cool. Now you can see that we've got some paint mask here. And so I'm going to use the paint mask by jumping over from my vertex paint and creating one in my edit mode. And so here I'm going to select a group of faces. And once I have those, I'm actually going to deselect, whoops, I'm actually going to deselect this one. And I want to select the side faces and the back faces additionally. So I'm going to hold control and press plus on the numpad twice. So I've got it. Great. Now that's the only area that I can use my vertex paint. So I'll jump over to my vertex paint and activate this paint mask. And so now you can see that they're highlighted and that's the only place that I can paint my vertex paint. Now I want to leave all this rest of this white painted white in my vertex paint. And the areas that I'd like to be affected by the wind, I'll make them blacker. So there we go, choose a nice black paint. And I can just go and paint quite freely now on the areas. And you can see it doesn't go outside of the lines. I can't color outside of the lines. Ah, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, and with that done, I've now got my vertex paint on my model. And it's just a matter of exporting this and building the shader in Unreal. So I'm going to jump out of Vertex Paint and into Object Mode, press with my object selected, go and say File, Export, and choose FBX. I'll go and give it a name, Chair. And then I'm also down under, under my presets. I'm gonna scroll down and get to Geometry and want to make sure that smoothing for the faces is set. Okay, great. With that done, I'm just going to export. All right, over in Unreal, I'm going to right click in my content browser and import and bring in that chair FBX. And when I do that, I just want to be aware of one particular option. And by default, your FBX import options are probably gonna look something like this um, by default. And under mesh, I just wanna make sure I open up this show advanced arrow and come down to vertex color import options. Uh, by default, it's usually set to ignore. And so I'm just gonna make sure that that's set to replace and say import. That's gonna ensure that I get that vertex data in. All right, with it in, I'm gonna go and open up my material and s go ahead and delete out this color and just bring in the actual texture sample for this chair, connect that in. And the first thing I want to do now is go and say, hey, this well position offset, like the position of these vertices of this model, I want them to be, to be controlled by a simple grass wind. So I'll right click, set, type simple grass wind, lovely. And say that that's going to run into and control that well position offset. Okay, a couple of errors. We just need to add in uh, wind intensity, wind weight, and additional well position offset. And I can just, uh, actually set that well position offset, additional well position offset with this texture sample. Nothing special there. Just wants to be populated. And I'll create scalar parameters for these other two. So I'll right click, type scalar and parameter. Call this one wind intensity. And give us a default value of 0.75 or 0 0.75. I'll copy this one, select the board and paste it. All right, this one will be wind weight. And set that one into wind weight. Okay, so now if I press, oops, apply, we'll see that we've got a rather jello looking material. And if I bring this into the scene, we do see that the 
all the vertices are moving around in the wind. And we want to restrict it to the vertices that we painted in Blender. So to do that, we're going to come back over to our material and I'm going to right click and look for the vertex color. And that's going to give us a little bit more control because now we can pull the vertex color from the actual model that this material is applied to and use that to restrict which parts move and how much they move. Now to blend between those, I'm going to use a linear interpolate. So I'll right click, type linear, interpolate, and drop that down. All right, so here we are. So this is moving all the vertices and I need to have a condition that is not moving all the vertices. So I'll press one and click the left mouse button. And this is not moving the vertices. This is moving the vertices. And to control which one or how much, which vertices are moved, we're gonna let uh, the vertex color from our model decide that. So we'll drive that into the alpha. And then the output of our lerp is the one that actually gets sent to the well position offset. Okay, hope that makes sense. Doesn't look too promising here, but if we say apply, save, and close, it looks to be working just fine. All right, hope that helps and I'll see you in another video.